Two breweries are joining forces. Hop Culture Farms in Colchester and Labyrinth Brewing here in Manchester. They have teamed up to make this collaboration beer. It's to raise awareness about women in the beer industry. Heather Wilson joining us now. She is the owner of Hop Culture Farms in Colchester. Nice to see you. You too, nice to see you again. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about something a little serious uh, before we get into the fun stuff, which we will get into the fun stuff because we have a great beer to talk yes. about. Um, but this movement started after an online post about women in the industry, Correct. the beer industry. Uh, and brewers in general too, yeah. uh, about sexual harassment. And yes. it's a real serious uh, topic that's finally being brought to light. Yes, um, there was a brave woman, uh, Brienne, who works at Natch Brewing, which is in Salem, Massachusetts. And it was a simple Instagram post talking about, talking or asking women, have you ever felt marginalized or have ha experienced sexual harassment within the industry? And thousands of women came forward and it was, from as simple as, oh, people don't think I can be a brewer because I'm a woman, to blatant sexual harassment. That has started a nationwide movement with um, bringing awareness to sexual harassment and marginalization of women within the craft beer industry. It's amazing that there's been thousands of comments on that. Yes. Um, and, and, I'm sure, and growing. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I think it's growing and I think it's um, allowing or, or asking for people to look within their own tap rooms, within their own small communities, to say how can we do better, what is the culture of our tap rooms, and how do we treat our women within you know, the four walls of our businesses. And I think it's important and it's um, a worthy cause to bring light to. So here in our own community, the beer industry is trying to do more. Yeah, um, I think that there's been a lot of talk within all of our breweries um, and thankfully I think we have a lot of respectful men including the you know the men and the owners of Labyrinth Brewing who had asked me to do this project with them and I'm very honored that they you know they wanted to work with me on this to bring awareness to this uh, you know problem within the industry but um, you know there's we have a diversity an inclusion and diversity um, committee that just started within the Connecticut Brewers Guild which I'm the secretary of which is working on messaging so that not only from just staff but also from patrons how you know we want to create cultures of respect um, for everyone and you know inclusion for everybody and women were the first brewers anyways if, you know, <laughs> if nobody knew that you know women were the first brewers so um, you know I think that we deserve a seat at the table and I think with awareness with more education on it we will you know we will have those deserving seats. So this original post was in May, uh, and right. shortly after that, that's when Labyrinth contacted you, right? Yeah, um, so they sent me an email saying, you know, we feel very strongly about supporting women within this industry, and you know, we really want to do something to raise awareness instead of just you know, posting on social media, and mm -hmm. we'd like to do a, a beer collaboration with you because you're a woman brewer and we th they're like if we think your beer is good they tried to get me with flattery but um, <laughs> you know that I was very humbled and taken aback because it's it's men like this that we need within the industry who are you know undyingly supportive of women and who you know want to put their money where their mouth is and really like do something to bring awareness to the situation. Adam Delora joining us now he's one of the owners here at Labyrinth Brewing Company nice to be back here. Yeah thanks for coming out. <laughs> yeah so talk a little bit about why you decided to reach out to Heather. Well we saw the Instagram posts uh, and some of the issues that are going on mm -hmm. in the industry this is something that we're conscious that affects a lot of uh, members of the industry and we said okay so how can we take action and make this happen but really we're owned by three guys so we have a certain lens which which we view the world from mm -hmm. so you know hop culture is practically right next door it's female owned Heather makes amazing beer so we tr figured let's see if we can get her on board and see if we can get her perspective and you know, put something cool together that empowers a female-owned brewery, but also helps women in the industry. That's great. So this collab beer. Yes. Uh, what yep. what is it? Tell us all about it. Well, I mean, it's an IPA, <laughs> uh -huh. obviously, right? What do we brew in these days? Yeah. IPAs. Um, and one of the cool things is that uh, Hop Culture is a farm brewery, and so we use some of the Cascade hops that uh, Heather and her crew grow on her farm great. Uh, to add some flavor to the to the beer itself. So you said you're using those Cascade hops. How hoppy are we talking? <laughs> I mean, we're talking like a juice bomb, right? Okay. This is, you know, it's moderate ABV, so mm -hmm. it's something you could have a couple on a hot summer day. It's, it's going to be, you know, 
uh, definitely a summer crusher for you. Great. And what's the name? Uh, past the Looking Glass. That's great. And I love the label. Um, the label's amazing. Most of that was sort of Heather's idea, how, you know, the whole, like, uh, breaking through the glass ceiling mm -hmm. kind of concept. So the label's got a a woman brewer with a baseball bat smashing a, a window like a glass or whatever sure. so it's very visual we wanted something that was going to reach out and say hey this is this is what we're about mm -hmm. and the proceeds adam are going to a great cause yes so you know we wanted to donate to a cause that is actively helping people who are victims of abuse and violence in our local community mm -hmm. and so we chose to give a portion of the proceeds to interval house uh, out in hartford um, they're one of Connecticut's largest domestic violence service providers, so that was the first place that we thought to kind of help out. Amanda, everyone, she is a tap room manager here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So, pass the looking glass. That is available right now. Yes, on tap and four packs to go. Great. So you can get it right here at the brewery. Yep, absolutely. And also at Hop Culture in Colchester. Wonderful. Okay. And this isn't the only beer brewed uh, to support women. Yep, that's right. We actually just um, canned I Descent. It's our Pink Boots collab with uh, some of the ladies from the CT Pink Boots chapter. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming and yeah. helping us shed light on this. Absolutely. All right. Let's toast. Cheers. Something's brewing. Thank you.